This is a diffusion cloud chamber. You can see particle radiation in it. The thick and short trails are from alpha radiation and the long and thin ones are from beta radiation. It works by creating a large temperature gradient between the bottom and the top by effectively cooling the bottom and heating the top and uh, using alcohol vapors that is usually isopropanol to create a super saturated uh, environment on the bottom where those cloud tracks will be visible much like uh, tracks from planes in the sky. What you can see here is just the natural background radiation that is all around you at any given time. But today there was actually a really cool demonstration of this cloud chamber. So we're gonna have radioactive sources inserted to that hole you can see on the top right there. So first of all, here's some lovely americium. You can see the alpha tracks there. It doesn't work so well on that side, but it's still kind of impressive because you can see all those little alpha particles being ejected from that source. But there will be something even cooler later on in the demonstration. It kind of looks weird, sort of like as if they were going towards the source actually, because of the vapor going that way. That's kind of funny. But now it's time to say bye bye to the americium, because here comes the radium 220, which is a daughter nuclide of thorium 232, and has a half time of have life, sorry, of 55 seconds. That's gonna be totally awesome, which you will see in a second. Here comes the container with the holes. Uh, we just need a push to distribute all that radon in the cloud chamber. There we go. Look at all those alpha decays. That's just crazy. Oh my god, I love this. That is so insane. Look at all those atoms decaying. You may notice those V-shaped double alpha decays there and may wonder what the hell that is. Well, the thing is that the daughter nuclide of radon 220 is polonium 216 and has a half time of just 0.14 seconds. So you can guess what's happening. Yep, the atom is decaying twice at almost the same time. I think this is the best possible display of half-lives you can get. It's totally awesome. And as the gas spread it um, evenly over the whole cloud chamber, you can see the decays just everywhere. All those alpha decays, and often those double decays. You can sometimes see that uh, the one line of the V is a bit off, so that atom needed a bit longer to decay, and it moved in that time. It's so amazing, it's like, it's like you can see the actual atoms through their decays. You can at least know where they are pretty precisely. It's, it's just crazy. I love this. This cloud chamber can be seen at the Museum of Technology in Berlin. And the demonstration of this cloud chamber is at every Wednesday at uh, half past three. And if you arrive um, not, not before three and are under the age of 18, you even get in for free. Yes, you get to see this for free. It's amazing. You should really go there if you live in Berlin or if you are ever visiting Berlin.